Hey guys, and welcome back to Flatback Effects. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this cool map effect. Now, if you're a crew member, you can download this project file via the link in the description below. If you're interested in joining, you can also join via that same link. So this is the effect that I'm gonna be showing you how to make here. And I've got three variations here. Now for the crew members, when you download this project, I've also included this additional comp here, which basically automatically removes the image and basically creates like the outline effect for you. The way that I'm gonna be showing you how to do it in this tutorial is by using like a satellite image and then also like a plan outline of that building. So I'm just gonna start by creating a new composition here. This can be whatever you want as far as the settings. Now what I'm gonna do is just right click, create a new solid, and this solid can be sort of just like an off white here. It doesn't have to be uh, exactly white, but it can be whatever color you want. Something else that I also created here was just these dot layers. You can find something similar online. You don't have to add this in, just adds a little bit of texture. And then basically I'm just gonna change the blending mode to be like a hard mix here. And that's gonna combine those dots in a bit better with that background. Next, I've sourced this satellite image here. Now this can be whatever building that you want. It could be any area, any location. But whatever this building is, what you also want to do is try and source some sort of blueprint for this. Now for the project that you're making, you may already have these two files. If you don't, then you can find something similar. So here I've just found this design by going through and finding just in the public domain. I found this like, blueprint or diagram here of this building. Now it's not the exact building that I'm gonna be using in my video, but I'm gonna show you how to sort of blend the two together. So just keep in mind, it's not gonna be exactly the same, but at least you can see how this effect works. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to create your own animations, or you wanna learn more about how to design animations, then definitely check out my Animation Master course. There'll be a link down in the description below. In that, I walk you through the absolute basics of using After Effects, right through on how to actually create some really cool and awesome looking animations and effects. Once you've completed that course, or if you're more of an intermediate, then you can also check out my Animation Pro course. There'll be a link down in the description. And in that, we go into a lot more detail about how to actually design really cool looking animations, like the ones that you would see online, and going a lot more in depth into different animation techniques that you can use to really make your work stand out. There's tons of testimonials and reviews that you can read and watch via those links in the description below. But if you're serious about learning animation, then I definitely recommend checking out these two animation courses. So what I'm gonna do is just drag this one here on top and I'm just gonna roughly position it here where I want it. Now what I can do to that layer is I'm just going to add the extract. By coming down to that key, what I can do is just remove that area. And then what I'm also gonna do is just with W on my keyboard, I'm just gonna start to sort of, you know, move this layer and reposition it here. Now, if you need to sort of help to sort of getting the line alignment right, scale down the opacity of that map layer and that'll make it a little bit easier here to sort of position this. But it's just kind of getting it roughly in the same position so it kind of lines up here with that building. Now you're gonna see this effect sort of play out here in a second when I create just a new solid. And this solid is basically gonna become a mask. So if I use this as a mask layer, what I can do is basically parent this track mat to that mask. So I'm using this map layer so that when I move that mask, it now basically removes that part of the map. I can do the exact same thing with that plan layer, but I'm gonna create the, the, the inversion of that. So it's basically just going to reveal that when that mask moves across. Now if I just hit P and create a position keyframe here, move across, scale this to this sort of position, we can just sort of mess around with that positioning here of that plan. So I might want to just sort of scale this down. You know, I'm sort of looking at these lines here to try and get it to line up. I mean, that looks pretty good as it is there. What I also want to do is just remove a lot of this stuff here that's in the background. So I'm just gonna sort of draw a quick mask. So I'm hitting G on my keyboard to bring up my pen tool. 
I'm also just gonna select those dots and just sort of scale this down because I don't want them so prominent. Now with that map layer, what I can also do is I can, with my plan layer, what I can also do is just duplicate this. I'm gonna move it up here. If I go down to the transform properties, I can just reset them. And with that mask, what I'm going to do is just basically subtract that so that we end up with this text that's sort of on the side here. So what I'm going to do is just sort of position that over here, it just adds a little bit of texture. I also just wanna move this mask up here to sort of remove that headline. Also duplicate this, go down to the mask there and just delete that. And I'm just gonna draw out a mask over this title. And then I can sort of just scale this up and just sort of position that roughly about there. Now, if I just rename this one to title and I'm just gonna call this dark so I know which side we're talking about here. <clears throat> I'm also just going to duplicate that and remove the basically invert off that mask so that it only appears on this side. And for this one, I'm just gonna add a fill and I'm just gonna make this white. The reason we're doing this is just so we can see each side of that layer. So as you can see here, we're basically generating each side of that layer. If you wanna remove a little bit more of that, you can do so like that. Maybe bring a little bit more of that layer in something like this. Now you can go through and just sort of adjust this. If you want more or less of that image, you can just sort of make any adjustments. This is obviously gonna depend on the image that you end up using, but you can just sort of mess around with that to get the look that you're after. Something else I also did was just add a sort of a null object here. And this basically became like the controller for my layer. So I'm gonna link all of these, except for the title to that null. So we now have a controller for that now. And for the title, what I'm also going to do is just rename this one to just title white so I know which side that's on. And if I link the dark side to this white, what I can do is then create a bit of a position property for this one. Go across here and just sort of animate this down. So we sort of get that text moving in like that, maybe just make this easy ease. The other thing we also want to do is if I hit you to bring up those keyframes for that mask layer, we can also make these easy ease. We're gonna turn on motion blur for all of these layers. And if I go into the graph editor here, now I can just basically scale up on this to sort of create a bit more of a smooth movement. So overall, that's looking pretty good. Now I just wanna add a little bit of movement to this to sort of make it a bit more dynamic. So what we can do is I'm just gonna start back here. I'm gonna create a position property and a scale property as well. I'm gonna zoom in slightly here, move this up. So we want the camera to sort of move in like this. And then at the end of this composition, we'll just have a basically zoom in very slightly, but remove the position. So we just want it to scale in. Now I can select all of those, make them easy ease, and really important is to basically try and smooth them all out. So I wanna come down to the keyframe interpolation, make this continuous bezier. Then I can basically come into the graph editor. And with the position property, what I'm gonna do is just smooth this out by dragging up. And for this scale property, what I'm gonna do is move this up and that's gonna help smooth out the velocity of that scale movement. So we kind of get something like that. Now I can exaggerate this even more by zooming out. And what I can do is with that map layer, I can then add a motion tile and then just scale up on the output width and height just to sort of fill in the rest of that layer. So we kind of end up with that effect, something like that. Now, one other thing I did was I added a little effect here, which sort of went around this, this outline of this uh, building, whatever you want to call it. I've then taken this map layer and what I did was I came down here and just basically drew out a mask. Now you can spend more time with your mask to sort of get it to look right, but I'm just doing it quickly here just to show you 
how I did it. Now with that mask setting, you wanna just come down here and make sure this is set to none because we don't want that mask to apply to the layer. Then we can come up here and generate a stroke and scale up on this. I'm just gonna turn off that so we can see what we're doing. And with the spacing, what I'm gonna do is scale up on this. And then we can create basically like a start and an end keyframe. If you to bring up those, I'm just gonna off center this start. So with the end keyframe first, what I'm gonna do is bring this all the way to zero. I'm gonna go across to my timeline, create another one here and just sort of scale this up. And then also scale this one up to 100 and off center this. And basically the result is you get this line which sort of moves around like that. You can also off center that mask to bring in that layer slightly later. And this is what we kind of end up with here. The last thing I also did was also just right click, created a new adjustment layer. And to that adjustment layer, I added the Lumetri color, just add a little bit of contrast and saturation added a vignette, which sort of darkened the edges and a bit of an unsharpened mask, which just sort of sharpens up the image. You can find all of those by searching for them up here, but that's pretty much how I made this effect. I also made the exact same one, but I added basically like a blueprint. So all I did was I did the exact same thing, but instead of using a light background, I used a, a dark blue background. So I just changed that background color to be a dark blue. I did add a paper texture, but you don't need to add this on. And then to the plan, what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to add a fill and that will automatically change them to be, you know, whatever color you want. So in this case, we're gonna want them to be white because we want it to match to the blueprint sort of theme. So it was the exact same steps. I just basically changed the colors. The third way I've included this as part of the download, but basically you can, create a cutout of that layer. Now, all of the settings and everything are in here to do that. You can do this by just basically searching for like a stroke outline effect um, into After Effects. There's lots of tutorials on how to create this sort of look, but this is useful if you don't have like a blueprint plan of that particular building or whatever it is that you're trying to zoom into, this will basically just take the map or the map image that you already have and create an outline effect uh, from that. So that's it. This is a pretty straightforward tutorial. I just wanted to show you how you can sort of design something that's really quick and simple, but also looks really, really good. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can check out more videos just like this over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.